Uh, if you are new here, uh, the, here is the thing. Uh, once your case is uh, documented to qualify, there is nothing else you need to do. Okay. Uh, in case you are in emergency situation, you can expedite your case. But other than that, uh, don't let nobody fool you that they're gonna. USA Mon. Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back. Uh, if it's your first time here. Welcome in today's video. We're gonna cover February 2024 visa bulletin board and also NVC update of this week of February 5th, 2024. So if you are new in the process or you never file I want a repetition for a relative before, but you wanna do that, or you start a process but you kind of confused, don't know exactly what's gonna come next. Well, this video will help you. So if you make a decision to file an I want to repetition for your relative, either it's your brother or, or sister, your parent or your or spouse or your children, well, the first thing you need to do is uh, to file the I want to repetition. Okay, you have to fill up the form or add on uh, required document or pay the fees and then sub, I mean, submit the fees to USCIS, okay? Everything will go to USCIS first. Whether your relative lives here in the United States of America or live uh, or lives overseas, you have to send on the document and the fee to the uh, to USCIS, okay? So once USCIS receive uh, your case, they will send you uh, a notice of action, okay? Just to tell you that okay, they receive your uh, you know your your case and then they're gonna work on it. They will let you know once the case is approved eventually once the case is approved well you will get a notification okay so now uh, some of you guys uh, will wait uh, longer before nvc i mean uscs can approve your case because of your visa category for example uh my children are uh, adult children of a u.s citizen uh, u.s citizen if uh, your parent or uh, father want a repetition for you it will take uh, time before uscs approve the case and then after the case is approved, it will go either to NVC or stay at USCIS. Okay, so you just have to be patient. If uh, you submit your case to USCIS, it takes what? Uh, it been six months or uh, a year, you don't receive anything. It's just because of your visa category. Uh, some of you guys will receive that uh, notification quicker. NVC will, or USCIS will approve your case uh, uh, quicker. For example, a spouse of a US citizen, okay? Uh, the case, uh, it can take uh, six months or eight months uh, to get uh, uh, an approval letter uh, from USCIS, okay? So once the case is approved, the next step is uh, it will move to either and NVC, if your relative will come to United States of America on immigrant visa or will stay at USCIS, and so your relative can adjust uh, his or her status here in the United States of America. In that case, uh, the relative will file on uh, I-485, which is a green card application, and then uh, the relative will receive uh, a notification to do the biometric or uh, to go to the biometric appointment. After that, your relative will go to the interview, and then uh, USCIS will make a decision on uh, whether or not to give your relative a green card. On the other hand, uh, if your relative will come to the United States of America on, on immigrant visa, the case will move to NVC National Visa Center. So once the case moves to NVC National Visa Center, it depends on your visa category, you will receive your welcome letter quicker. Okay. Once you receive your welcome letter, then uh, you will uh, log into NVC system uh, with a uh, case number invoice ID in the welcome letter. Once you log into the system, you're going to pay fees and submit documents. So NVC announced on their website on uh, this week that they are uh, working on cases they received from USCS on January 31st, 2024. Uh, once uh, you receive your welcome letter, uh, it, like I said, depending on your visa category, you have to wait until your priority date becomes current before you can start the immigrant visa process, meaning that you can uh, log into NVC and start on the immigrant visa process. But if you are not... Uh, if you are immediate relative, I mean, uh, for example, a spouse of a U.S. citizen is considered immediate relative, once uh, your case moves to NVC, you will receive your welcome letter uh, quicker, okay? And then you can start the immigrant visa process. So, like I said, you will pay fees, you will pay two fees, immigrant visa fees, and also affidavit or support fees. Uh, and then after that, you submit some document, okay? Once you pay the fee, you submit some uh, those documents. You, the petitioner, are going to submit some document as well. For example, after the support will come from the petitioner, okay? Uh, and then uh, the beneficiary will now uh, submit uh, uh, different documents, uh, like a civil document, okay? Then uh, MVC will review everything. 
And this week, uh, they announced on the website that they are reviewing document uh, they received from a visa applicant on uh, January 25th, uh, 2024. So some of you guys will receive uh, a notification that your case is document to qualify. All it means is that you just have to wait until uh, you receive your interview appointment letter. Okay, and then the third update uh, is uh, regarding inquiry. Some of you guys have questions, you don't know who to ask. You send that inquiry to NVC, they are responding to the one they received from you guys on January 31st, 2024. Make sure you check your uh, email, okay, to see if NVC uh, reply to your inquiry. Check your spam folder as well. Sometimes the email will go to the folder. You know, and, uh, there's one thing I always tell uh, you guys, uh, you know, people who are watching my video, they know that. Uh, if you are new here, uh, the, here is the thing. Uh, once your case is uh, documented to qualify, there is nothing else you need to do, okay? Uh, in case you are in an emergency situation, you can expedite your case. But other than that, uh, don't let nobody fool you that they're going to help you get your interview appointment letter quicker, okay? Don't just pay money to, you know, random people, you know, telling you that they're going to help you get your interview appointment letter. It's not going to happen, okay? You just have to wait till uh, your or case or reach the front of the line so NVC can uh, schedule any of your appointment and notify you, okay? Now, let's talk about visa bulletin board. This visa bulletin board is for people who are not immediate relative. Example, or siblings of a U.S. citizen, or adult children of a U.S. citizen, or, or, or spouse of a green card holder, those are considered people who are not a visa applicant, who are not immediate relative. Therefore, they have to check the visa bulletin board every month to see if the priority date becomes current. Priority date is just on the day your petition was filed. So in the chart, on which uh, there is two charts, a date for filing and final action date. So the date for filing chart basically is uh, for people who are waiting for a welcome letter to start the immigrant visa process in case uh, you will come to United States of America on immigrant visa. Uh, now, people who are living here in the United States of America already, uh, they will uh, uh, get a notification uh, to start a uh, green card uh, uh, application, okay? And then the final action date, uh, it's just basically for people who are waiting for any of your appointment letter. Okay, whether you live here in the United States of America or you will come to the United States of America on immigrant visa, you have to check the visa bulletin board if you are not immediate relatives. So now let's go in front of my computer so I can show you uh, the, uh, the date in the chart. They are called cutoff dates. So I'm going to show you cutoff date depending on your nationality. Okay, let's go. So guys, uh, this is the family sponsor preferences we're going to talk about. So if you don't know your visa category, well, this will help you. So if you on uh, your if your paper show F1, uh, you just unmarried sons and daughters of a U.S. citizen. Okay, or if you are unmarried sons or in daughters of US citizen, your category will be F1, okay? And then uh, if you want F2 A category, it can be, you can be either a spouse. So this one is for either a spouse of a green card holder or children of a permanent resident under age, okay? Under age children of permanent resident. Or uh, if you F2 B, uh, you are unmarried sons and daughters, 21 years of age or older of a permanent resident, uh, if you are in F3 category, it means that you are married sons and daughters of a U.S. citizen. Or F4 categories for brothers and sisters of adult uh, U.S. citizen. Okay, so those are uh, the family sponsor preferences. Now let's talk about date for filing and uh, final action date. So guys, uh, this is the date for filing chart. Uh, like I said, this one is uh, people who are waiting for a welcome letter to start an immigrant visa process to start submitting document to uh, NVC or, or USCIS, okay? So uh, we have different category like I just showed you in the family uh, sponsor preferences. Uh, we got F1 here, we got F2A, F2B, F3, and F4, okay? There's not much to say here. The only thing I'm going to tell you is that depending on your, your, depending on your country or your, or your nationality, you have to, you know, basically you check on uh, your position based on your nationality, okay? If you're from the Philippines uh, and you are in F1 category, you see this is F1, so you're going to come all over here. 
and check the date on the chart okay the date in the chart here is on uh, april 22nd 2015 this is the core of date so what you need to know about this date is that you have to know your priority date if for example your priority date is on uh, february 1st uh, on 2015 it means that it comes before your the core of date so it's within the time frame so you should receive a notification uh, from uh, either uacs or nvc depending on where your or your cases okay and that's all you need to do that's all you need to know in this chart if you're from mexico you don't have to check this one but you check this one right here if you're from india you gotta check this one again if you are in f1 category but you are from these countries this is how you check china mail and bond now if you know from none of these countries you have to pay attention to this right here which is on all chargeability areas except those on listed okay so in f2a you do the same thing f2b you do the same thing f3 you do the same thing and also f4 you do the same thing that's all you need to do okay now let's move to final action date uh, which is for people who are waiting for any of you appointment uh, or letter so this is the final action date chart uh, for family sponsor preferences again you have all those uh, visa categories here f1 f2a f2b f3 and f4 okay and then uh, over here same countries for the philippines mexico india china mainland born and also uh, all chargeability area except those listed uh, those are the country uh, you know the rest of the country in the world except those right here okay so if you're in f1 you already know if you're in f1 and you are from the philippines this is what you're gonna check f1 from mexico this is the color of date from india this is uh, the color of date from china mainland but this is the color of date and then if you are not from none of those countries this is the color of date again i know uh, the only thing you need to know about this chart is whether or not your priority date comes before the date in the chart in case it comes before it in the chart, you just have to wait until you receive your notification. There's nothing else you need to do. That's all you need to. That's n the only reason you have to check the visa bulletin for just to check and see if your priority uh, comes before the day in the chart. So you do the same thing for F2A category, F2B category, F3, and then uh, F4. Okay, that's all you need to do. That's all you need to know about this chart. If you have uh, any question, let me know in the description below guys and that's all i have for you today if you like the video click on the like button share the video and don't forget to subscribe once again my name is john thanks for watching and i'll talk to you in another video usa monday